So far we have gone through the details about how to read or import data from CSV file into the data frame and also we have seen how to apply simple business rules to demonstrate how to apply simple business rules we have gone through the details about how to compute commission amount based on sale amount and commission percentage. As we are ready with the processed data now it is time for us to write this processed data to CSV file it is also known as exporting the data from data frame into CSV file. Let's get into the details so that you are clear about the complete life cycle of reading the data from file into the data frame, processing the data in data frame using appropriate functions or operations and then writing this processed data into CSV files. To write data from data frame into CSV files, we have to use a function called as write underscore CSV which is available on top of data frame. Keep in mind when it comes to read underscore CSV, it is part of pandas directly, hence we have used pd dot read underscore csv you can see all examples with respect to read uh, we have used read underscore csv on top of it there are quite a few other functions as well however when it comes to write we have to use two underscore csv to write to csv files the two underscore csv is available as part of data frames so in this case toyota data is our data frame you can see two underscore csv here on top of two underscore csv there are quite a few other functions as well we have two underscore excel to write it to excel we have two underscore hdfs i am not sure what it is about but we have this function called as two underscore hdf then we have two underscore json to write it to json files like that there are quite a few functions which start with two underscore that being said in this case we have to use two underscore csv before getting into usage of this let's review the documentation for that i should be able to use help and pass this to help then i should be able to run this you can see the documentation here when it comes to two underscore csv also it takes arguments such as sep for separator then columns you can specify the column names which you want to place in the first row or line of the file you can also specify header if it is true it will have the column names displayed in the first line in the file otherwise the column names will be discarded also if you don't want to write the index from the data frame into a file you can set index to false these are some of the important keyword arguments on top of path or buff where we can specify the path to which the file is supposed to be written let's review the data frame once again you can see the data frame have the index and let's see what happens if we just pass the path to actually write data into the file in this case to write data from data frame into the file i'll be saying toyota underscore data then two underscore csv then data then slash then car underscore sales then Toyota sales with commission dot CSV. This is the name of the CSV file. Now the file will be created in data then current score sales from the current working folder which is nothing but our project folder. Now let me run this. You should be able to see the CSV file here. Let's click on this CSV file. You can see the details so you can see commission amount as per the expectations also you can see the index here now if you don't want to write the index from the data frame into csv file this is how you should be able to take care of it here let me line break let me also line break here now let me say comma then index equal to false now let me run this it will just overwrite the existing file now let's click on this this time you can see there's no index written to this file this is how you should be able to write the data from uh, data frame into csv file or export the processed data from data frame into csv file